in this session we discuss about how light propagates what is the direction of light so consider a source of light this is sun okay this is sun the light energy emits in all directions the light energy emits in all directions what is this light energy this is tiny packets of energy that means these are called photons these packets are called photons called photons okay so each photon has an electric and magnetic field around it that means this is a photon consider a photon it consists of electric field this is an electric field and this is a magnetic field okay so electric field is denoted by e and it is denoted by b it is denoted by b magnetic field is denoted by b so these two are around the photon so and these two fields are this is a magnetic field this is electric field these two fields are perpendicular to each other so these two are right angles at each other and because of these two fields the interaction between these two fields the photon moves mutually right angles this is the direction of photon the photon moves mutually right angles for each fields okay this is also a right angle so the, the magnetic field electric field and this is the propagation of photon also direction of photon direction of photon so these three are mutually perpendicular to each other so what is the direction of a photon it is a straight line the direction of photon is a straight line because of these two fields this kind of propagation of photon is called rectilinear propagation of light this is called rectilinear propagation of light so here we have to remember one thing because of these fields these fields having energy okay so the energy required for propagation of this photon is provided by these two electric fields here the light photon is moves in the direction so because for for this moving for this propagation it needs some energy where is that energy that energy is comes from magnetic field and electric field okay for the propagation of photon the energy is provided from magnetic field and electric field then this energy is converted into that means it is conserved hence light travels at the velocity of 3 into 10 power 8 meter per second this means if the magnetic field b and electric field e give the energy to propagation of light propagation of light this energy conserves this energy converts then it becomes velocity so the light moves at constant speed constant speed so the light photon propagates at constant speed that is 3 into 10 power 8 meter per second this is the velocity of light speed of light okay so why it is came here like this because of the magnetic and electric field the light moves at constant speed okay so this is called rectilinear propagation of light okay let us discuss about some examples for rectilinear propagation consider 
a hole in a box when you, if you focus a light this is some light source this is like torch light so this produces light energy in all directions and if you observe one ray passes through this hole okay you can observe this ray this moves in the straight line okay this ray moves in the straight line so in this way you can observe different types of source and what you concluded that the light ray appears in the straight line motion and consider room in our room if there is a small hole if there is a small hole what do you observe when sunlight falls on when sunlight falls on on, the, on our room what happen what do you observe from this hole you can observe straight particles that means light enters in that hole in the straight line motion okay so this type of motion is called rectilinear propagation so in this way we can observe light can propagate in the straight line direction or rectilinear propagation okay so these are the different types of examples for rectilinear propagation of light okay